Hi, I'm meteorologist Peter Hall. Here's a look at your forecast. And as we take a look ahead today, you're going to like what you see. Plenty of sunshine for the majority of the day. And you get past 3 o'clock, clouds are going to start thickening up. But we will likely get to our first 60 degree day since Tuesday. You know, it's been kind of chilly recently, right? Well, as you get towards and past the 6 o'clock hour, we're going to have an increased risk for a shower. Is this something that's going to be out of control? No. Is this something that's going to aggravate the already high water levels of the Black River and Oneida Lake and Cross Lake? No. Just a little shower it comes through. No biggie. It will cool things down for tomorrow. It's Good Friday. More, way than, more ways than one. It's also good looking, right? We talked about the fact that it'll be milder this afternoon. It will cool off for Saturday. Clouds early giving way to sun. And while it'll be chilly as well Sunday morning, it will be warmer in the afternoon. The best part of the weekend for me would be Sunday midday and afternoon. Why? Because we should be solidly through the 60s. Next week's going to be changeable. Might even be warm as 70 or so on Monday. But then wet weather Tuesday brings some cooler weather We're returning for midweek next week. So here we go. We've got the forecast out here with the future cast sunshine looking good. We are going to likely get ourselves into the upper 50s to lower 60s this afternoon. You get to that after 6 o'clock hour and then it's going to be cloudy and I can't rule out a shower at any point between 6 p.m. and midnight. And even though it's not showing up here on the future cast, do not be surprised if tomorrow morning early with a northwest wind, some lake enhanced clouds might even have some lake enhanced drizzle or flurries with it. OK, it's not a big deal, but don't be surprised if you see it. And if we start out with those clouds, we will give way to sunshine. The, the best and brightest part of Saturday will be during the afternoon. Now we're going to chop the temperatures down about 5 to 10 degrees, so that'll put us in the upper 40s to lower 50s Saturday afternoon. Skies should essentially be mainly clear Saturday night through Sunday morning. With not much wind, I'm expecting Sunday morning at least to be a little on the cool side around 30. But as the words say behind me, we should have an excellent Easter Sunday for us. Total sunshine today should be at least 80%, about 60% sunshine on Saturday with 90% sunshine expected on Easter Sunday. We all have been hearing about the fact that the water levels have been high. You probably have noticed some of the flooding in Carthage and Watertown and near Beach Road and Cicero. There's likely other water rivers and streams and lakes that are running too high. The shower this evening isn't going to be a big deal. The fact that we've had recent dry weather and additional dry weather through Monday will help to allow those water levels to recede, but we will likely see them rise a little bit on Tuesday with some rain showers. Here's your seven day forecast. Normal highs in the upper 50s. We're a little above that today, a little below that Saturday. Well above that on Sunday and Monday, and then we'll back things off for midweek next week. Overall, though, look, it's a holiday weekend, three day weekend. The majority of it, very nice. Your high temperature today reached at around 4 or 5 o'clock this afternoon, 60 to 63 or so from Syracuse to Fulton to Rochester to Dansville and Penyan. Mid and upper 50s elsewhere. Across the Northeast, wow, it's only going to be 43 in Boston. What gives? Onshore breeze. Yep, Atlantic, super chilly. 84 though in Miami, 83 in Vegas. Bigger picture. Look, we actually have a fairly notable system to the south. It's actually going to be nicer today, I would think, in Syracuse than it is going to be in, uh, well, Tallahassee or Gainesville, Florida. Ocala, Florida. Gator bait. Going to be getting wet. You can get your forecasts and updates on news, cnycentral.com.